Hey, what's going on crew? Welcome back to the channel. I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're brand new, but make sure you stay locked in because we're going to be talking about 41 tips and tricks for the Galaxy Tab A8. But make sure you stay locked in because I'm going to save the best trick for last, the best hidden feature. So make sure you guys stay locked in with me. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. All right, guys, so the first trick that I'm going to show you is found in notifications. And this is pretty cool because you can actually um, kind of be discreet when you're getting a notification on your tablet. So if it does pop up, you just instead of hitting the detailed option, you hit brief and brief will basically show less information. So it's a little bit more private. You could also go into the brief pop up, which right here is going to give you a really cool animation effect on the bottom of the tablet. So at the very bottom of the tablet um, right here, it'll show you the effects of it. So let me just show you what that looks like. And it's going to give you uh, different options to choose from. So you could choose, you know, bubble, heart, fireworks. You could choose the ellipse. I'm sorry, eclipse, echo and spotlight. So it's just different ways that the animation will pop up at the top of the screen. You could see it doing it right at the top, which is kind of crazy. So you can get like hearts or bubbles or different animations. So I actually like this one where it says eclipse. So I'm just going to hit done. And then you have a really nice uh, way for you to get notifications. That's the edge lighting style. And then you can also choose the color by keyword. So if you have like a keyword, uh, you could actually type in the keyword, something like uh, YouTube. I don't know. Let's just type that. That's the keyword. And then now you'll get that notification for YouTube. Now, another thing that's pretty cool inside of notifications, and since we're still here, I'm just going to stay locked in here for a little bit because we have a lot of cool features inside of notifications. And you could click this do not disturb option. And what it does is it, it basically you could choose you know, what time of the day you could add different schedules that you don't want to be disturbed. You could choose Monday through Friday. You could choose the start and end time and then just put meeting and you can give it a name. You can also make exceptions for phone calls, messages, uh, things of that sort. You can make them uh, priority conversations and um, repeat callers. You can allow when to receive um you know, but um, it'll say right here, allow calls when they're received from the same phone number more than once within 15 minutes. So you can a activate that feature and then you can also select the contacts only favorite contacts only. So it gives you the option to actually choose who you want to receive messages from and calls from and conversations. And you can also um, have here you can actually change the touch sounds for alarms. So you, you could do the touch sounds. Uh, which is pretty cool events and calendars as well so now you actually have that feature so you you definitely can be selective when it comes to what um, sounds you want to get and vibrations to be muted from all of these select different alarms and um, media sounds and touch sounds and things of that sort so i definitely think that's pretty cool so you can kind of you know uh, manage it a little bit better Right here, you can actually hide notifications. So it'll let you hide app icon badges, hide from notification panel. You can um, don't show pop up notifications, which right here, it'll show that. And then it'll say you can hide status bar icons as well. So I definitely think this will be useful if you're at work or in a meeting and you can schedule when you're going to be actually in the meeting. And if you do anticipate a call from like your manager, you can make sure that you add them in these different settings. So I did actually activate the sound, which is cool from that notification panel. But another thing that's pretty cool from this notification panel is inside of advanced settings. And inside of advanced settings, you can actually show the battery percentage at the top right here or not. And that's pretty cool if you suffer from like battery anxiety, you don't want to see the actual percentage. It's kind of better to not see that, but some people actually like to see that there. And another thing that's cool is you do get these floating notification bubbles and you could do them as a smart pop up or just as a regular bubble for the chat. 
So it's kind of cool because you can kind of choose which way you want to receive the uh, notifications and stuff of that nature. Now inside of the display option right here where it says display, you can actually change the screen off time from 30 seconds to one minute or up to 30 minutes. So I like to keep it at one minute just so that the screen doesn't time out while I'm using the tablet. And another thing that's pretty cool inside a display is that you get the side scroll edge panels. So if you activate that, you will have the option to swipe across right here. I keep it at the bottom just so it doesn't get in the way. And it's like a little tab that you can see right here at the bottom and you can just swipe across, hit these little three lines at the bottom and you're gonna click edit. And then you're gonna have the option to choose what apps you wanna have on that side panel. So you could put you know, Spotify, Instagram, Facebook, calculator, the calendar, um, you know, I don't know, the camera, if it's not already there, and um, the notepad and things of that sort. And this feature right here where you click the three dots at the top of here gives you the option to open a split screen view by touching and holding or tapping. So if you click tap, you can actually, uh, let me just get out of here real quick. So you give it a swipe back. And if I tap this, and then I tap another app like Spotify, it's gonna do the split screen menu, which is pretty cool. Then you get this line in the middle that you can flip it right here. So you can make Spotify at the top and then you can do, hit this option right here, right next to it. And uh, let me just dismiss that. And you can kind of just mess around with this. So you get one third of the way, you can mess around with the top and the bottom at the same time. So I definitely think this is a really cool feature. But do me a favor, if you're enjoying the video, make sure you hit the like button and share your support. But I actually am gonna uh, tell you guys to take a break right now. Make sure you come back, like get, grab a drink, maybe a snack, and I'll get right back with you. All right guys, so the next thing you wanna do is go into display on here. Then after you go into display on here, you wanna click gestures. So you're gonna look for gestures under the, the, the you know what I'm saying, um, under the nav bar option. So right here, click nav bar option. Then you're gonna see you have the swipe gestures or you can choose the buttons. If you choose the buttons, you're gonna be able to select which way you want the back button to be centered. You also can change the button layout so you can have it centered left or right. You do also have more options under swipe gestures and you can actually change the sensitivity right here. So if you're using a case, it might be difficult to do a gesture so you can make it more high sensitive to the touch. Now make sure you stay to the end because I have a special tip at the very end that I got want you guys to check out. But in the meantime, go into screensaver under display. We're still in display and hit this option and you're going to be able to change the uh, uh, different colors and when you when your phone is timed out or when your tablet is timed out it's going to enter this cool um, colors mode which will have some really nice vibrant colors to it when you're not using the tablet and um, let me just unlock it with my face or you can do a photo table which is pretty cool because you could kind of select different photos that you want to be on here from your camera download screenshots or any folder that you create and of course you can add a photo frame and then the photo frame will be inside of your, you know, you could do downloads, you could do um, select all, you could just choose which, where the photos are gonna be coming from, right? But I definitely think it's pretty cool that you can get this screensaver option when you're not using the tablet. Now, one of the things I noticed about this device is the wallpapers are very limited. So you can go into wallpapers and you will be able to select from, you know, the, the my wallpapers, which it gives you like six to choose from. So that kind of is very limited. So. What I did was I downloaded some from the, my own gallery. What I did was I just uh, chose one, some from my gallery. I did actually download these right here, one and two. And there's many places you can get wallpapers from. You can get them from the Play Store. You can get them from Facebook. You can get it from Instagram. But what I did was select that one and hit uh, done at the top. And then it lets you set as sc home screen, lock screen, or both. And I actually chose this one for my lock screen and then the other one I chose for my home screen. Now, one of my favorite things about the, the wallpapers is that you can choose these dynamic wallpapers, which is gonna be found here. And what you wanna do is click uh, the option where it says dynamic wallpaper. So you click wallpaper services and then actually 
choose the option that says dynamic um, lock screen right here you could see you could choose all of the different options so if you like dogs cats animals it's going to give you the option to download those so I, I like food i like dogs i like cats landscapes plants you know i like all of this stuff desserts art who doesn't like this type of stuff right and then once it's finished downloading it says you can only select up to five categories right so it's only going to let you select five of them so basically what you do is it's going to say auto update the wallpapers are current rotation will be updated automatically from time to time so basically just go back after you hit those that gear icon so you can after you choose the ones that you want right and then when you lock the display right it's going to give you that um those dynamic wallpapers that will like pop up this one is like a cat right now and let me unlock that with my face that looks really cool you could actually swipe uh to the uh other side has taken a little bit a minute to actually download you can hit this option right here where it says hide image or you get this option right here you could kind of scroll through right you can see the arrows on here now it's actually loading up for the very first time and you can actually change where you want the um, lock screen to be you could put it on the side or you could put it in the middle or the left which i thought was pretty cool and then here you can see that you do have those dynamic lock screens right here so it's still loading up my I have three out of five already ready to go so let me just wait for it to download but now you can see it's actually a landscape one and if i lock it again it'll keep changing right it'll definitely keep changing um it's still loading up so it's not all of them aren't finished but you could kind of get the idea here but do me a favor, I'm going to ask you to take one more break because the it's a, it's a, like 11 minutes in right now. So I definitely want you guys to take a quick break and come back real quick. So now you can see my home screen option has been replaced with the dynamic wallpaper that will change every single time on my lock screen. But head down to uh, down at the very bottom where it says advanced features on the side here. And what you want to do is click side key, right? Because side key is going to give you the double press to the camera. And you could quickly get to your camera which is really cool but you can actually hit open app and select an, an app that another different app is besides the camera if you don't use the camera on here you could so you could select the shortcut key it's basically you can choose any app from the selected app that you have downloaded on here but i definitely saved the last tip the best tip for last so make sure you guys stay to the end but the next tip is when you hold the screen and go to settings on the display and then what you want to do is click swipe down to get to the notification panel because once you swipe down from the anywhere on the screen it's going to let you see your notification shade and what's available to look at another thing that's pretty cool is you can get to your app tray with a button as you can see here there's no icon that gets me to my app tray unless i swipe up but you can put a button there by long holding go into settings real quick and then tapping the icon where it says show apps on screen with home button and then if you click here you have a button to get to your app tray which is kind of cool now another really cool feature is if you hit settings and you go into the lock screen option which is located on the side right here and just hit that real quick right right there you're going to be able to add your contact information like an email your first and last name or something or just uh, a phone number to, for people to get to you if you lose your tablet or when, and whatnot. So I usually just type my name here, C Butler, and then hit done. And then you have that option, which is really cool. I think that's something that I really do like on here. But another thing you can do is hit clock style. And what it does is it lets you change the clock style to vertical, horizontal, analog or digital and you can actually change the color of this thing but i like i like the color i like it's at right now is pretty cool i like that black color but i like that the number option where it's actually on top of each other and then you just hit done and then it's going to actually save that so now your your clock is going to be like whatever you choose right here so it's, it looks pretty cool and then you can see my name right there now another thing you want to do while you're in lock screen is actually hit the icon that says 
for you to be able to change the widgets on here. And then just make sure you add music, today's schedule, and digital well-being so you can have all those options available on your lock screen when you lock it and unlock it. And um, it's going to give you that option to see it. So I definitely think that's cool because you get more options to look at. Now, hopefully you are enjoying the video, but if you are, make sure you leave a comment down below. But let's just jump back into the video real quick. So another thing I usually do is go to privacy right here. And then I go into the option where it says ads. And then I just make sure that I click this option where it says opt out of interest based ads. And then I just hit that. And it's pretty straightforward. You don't want to get ads on here. Now there is a way you can go deeper into the settings and disable the one where it's attached to your Google account. But um, you know, you would ha basically have to go into the Google services option and do the exact same thing right here where it says uh, Google uh, account and then just do that with your Google account as well. Now another thing that's pretty cool is inside of advanced features on this guy. You want to click right here where it says advanced features and you want to basically activate the option for call and texting on other devices right here. And then you basically can sync the tablet to a, a, a smartphone when you attach it to your Samsung account. And you can click right here, call and text from this tablet using your phone's phone number and data plan. And when it's attached to your, your uh, Samsung account, you can also continue apps on the other device as well, which is also attached to the account. Quick share, which is not attached to the account. Basically, it's like nearby share where you could share photo, uh, files that are big, like videos and pictures and stuff like that. You also have this option down here where it says game launcher and you can turn that off or on, but it will basically organize your games for you, which is something that I think is pretty cool. And if you have an accessory like a case cover, it'll automatically lock and unlock your device as well. But another thing that you want to do is click here where it says screenshots and, um, you know, record, you know, screen recorder. And you have the option to mess around with that. You could change the quality and stuff like that. But um, what I really like about this part is the fact that they have to double tap to lock and stuff like that. So let me just show you that it's going to be in motions and gestures and you basically hit that and then you can double tap to lock, unlock, um, cover the screen to mute when you get an alarm or um, palm swipe to capture. So palm swipe to capture is pretty cool because when you're in like an app on social media and you see something that's pretty cool and maybe you want to actually like do a screenshot, you just take your palm and swipe it across the screen screen and it'll actually take a really quick screenshot right here and you have the option to share, edit, do a long screenshot as well. You could just tap right here and when you're done and you could crop the, the screenshot, but it's pretty cool because it'll save directly to your gallery and you can find it um, right here. It's going to be the save screenshot is going to be right here and it'll open with the photos app or the gallery app. And I usually just click gallery app because it has that on board. And then you could do your editing and whatever you need to do with the screenshot right here, which is definitely pretty convenient. Now we're literally halfway through the video. So make sure you stay to the end of the video because my favorite tip is at the end of the video. That's the one I'm saving for last. So make sure you watch the whole thing through. But um, the next tips have to do with the battery consumption. And basically what you want to do is actually protect your battery front on this device. So you want to go into battery and device care, which is going to be located right here. And you want to choose the option where it says more battery settings, which is going to be located right here in battery and just click more battery settings. And then what you want to do is if you can actually activate this option where it says protect your battery and it'll restart your tablet, right? But when you hit that, it'll charge the tablet at only 85%. So you get better battery health for the long term. It won't go up to 100%. It'll always charge your tablet to 85% to maximize longevity of the battery and then i always activate adaptive battery which will limit the battery usage for apps that you don't use often and so basically it won't drain at, um, any any of your battery when they're not in use and there's other settings like fast charging which will let you get the most out of the charging speeds for this tablet which is definitely something that i like on here now if you do insert a sim card on your device then you're going to go into apps and if you want to save a little bit of storage, it's not going to make you be able to change the whole entire storage to the SD card, but you can click here and then you can click storage and then you can click change. And then at the bottom, it will say, do you want this app to go to the SD card or your internal storage? 
And from time to time, you wanna make the tablet run a little bit faster. So you're gonna to go to battery and device care, and then you're gonna hit memory. And you just actually wanna clean that like at least once every, I would say two days so that you have optimal performance. And it's basically gonna shut down some of the apps that you're not using on here and just clean up the memory inside of it. Now, when you're inside of battery, and device care, you wanna go up to the top where you see the, this little chart right here at the top and you wanna actually hit that. And you can actually add the device care widget right here to your main screen and just hit add. So when you go back, you're gonna see a widget appear for device care. I think I went past it, here it is. So it's gonna show you the storage memory and you can have a shortcut right here so you can easily and quickly get to your memory and I think that's pretty cool because it lets you, um, it cleans the device right here from this widget, which is pretty cool. And another thing that's pretty cool is this device does have something called device protection. So if you hit that, you can actually scan the tablet to see if this thing will have any vulnerabilities or threats so that your device is always clean and protected from malware and stuff of that nature. All right, I'm um, good. So that's pretty cool but definitely a useful feature. Now, another thing that you wanna do is go down to where it says apps inside of settings right here and just hit that. And then when you're inside of there, you can actually choose something called default apps right here. So just hit that right there. And it's gonna basically let you set your different um, browser. So if you don't wanna use the Chrome browser, you could use the Samsung browser, but I actually don't have that on here because it was, I don't need two browsers or whatever. And then you can, if you want, you can change the Google Assistant app. This one actually lets you flash the screen and will let you know when your device assistant um, accesses text from the screen. So you can actually turn that on as well if you do so desire, but you also have the One UI. And if you put a launcher on here, you can change that to the launcher as well. And then they also have right here, Samsung app settings. So you can choose, I like to choose gallery and it does have um, the trash, which will keep everything stored in your uh, your videos and photos in your gallery for 30 days before it removes it automatically. And then you could actually create auto stories on here. So just toggle that option on. And if you take photos, it'll create those memories for you. Another thing is that a lot of people don't have the best eyesight in the world. So one thing you want to do is go into display right here on the side. And then what you want to do is click font and textile. So you can actually make this bold. That's what I did because you're able to see the text a lot bigger. It's gonna be a lot bolder, right? So I definitely changed that to bold, just so that the letters are more bold and easier to read. And then you wanna also change your font if you do so desire to one of these options by default, but you can also download more fonts from the Galaxy Store as well. But one thing I like to do is keep a weather widget on my display so I could easily see the weather and just take a look at the forecast on here, which is really in depth and pretty cool. You can actually add other locations on here too. So I think that's pretty cool that you get a vast variety of features from the weather widget. But if you just wanna add one of those, just long hold the screen and hit widgets. And then you're gonna actually see that if you could swipe across, you get the weather widget right here and you're gonna hit that. And then you can swipe across until you see the one that you wanna use. And then you just hit add and then it'll actually appear on your screen. You can hit this option and then you have that widget that you can actually resize or put it onto another window, which I think is pretty cool because you know widgets are really fun to play around with. Now, if you wanna make your, a video of the phone, of the screen of whatever you're looking at, you can actually go into your device, right? And then just swipe down until you see the option where it says screen record. And what you wanna do is hit that because when you hit that, you're gonna get this icon that says, do you wanna use the microphone and do you wanna use the screen recording? And you can actually have media sounds, media sounds and mic or just media sounds, but then you just hit start recording and then it's basically gonna have a countdown right here. And then everything that you do will be um, basically recorded and you can make a video right on the screen of whatever you're doing. And then when you're finished, you have this little panel right here that you can actually put to the side and you can hit pause or you can do edit and it lets you actually draw on the screen while the video is going on or you could hit play again and then start doing some drawing on there as well. So if you wanna do like a demonstration and then you can hit stop and then the actual screen record will automatically save directly to your gallery, which is pretty cool. 
So now right here, it's gonna say video saved and just hit that. Now you can enter it from your video player and it's gonna show everything that you just did on your screen. Even the text and stuff like that, it's gonna have that video and um, you can see all the text of me drawing and stuff. Now this device also does have smart view and smart view is when you can actually share, uh, share whatever's on your screen to your smart TV and it'll actually find the TV that's in nearest in your house or something. So if you want to connect this to your smart TV and mirror cast, whatever's on your tablet, like watching movies or videos, you can definitely do that on here through the Wi-Fi connection. All right, the best tip is coming to the last, so make sure you guys stay to the very end of the video. It's one of my favorites, but you also do have this option called Dolby or Atmos. I actually didn't have this turned on for a few, like a week, but I turned that on and then I noticed that I have really good sound quality coming from the actual speakers on this device and you could also optimize it for movies music voice to make voices louder or uh auto which is pretty cool another cool feature to use is the kids mode so let's say your kid is in the room and they see the tablet they might want to use it but before you let them use it what you want to do is hit this plus button right here and you get qr code scanner which is pretty cool and you get a few other options but you want to look for the one that says kids on this this thing and the kids mode is actually going to be found in digital well-being built well-being and parental controls and if you go to the the bottom of the screen uh, where it says check on your kids you could do the parental controls and it, it'll let you see everything that your kid is doing and then to add the kids mode to the window right here what you're gonna have to do is swipe down from the notification panel get to that plus sign right here at the very end and then hit the plus sign right there and then you'll see the kids mode which is an available button you'll have to scroll that down to the to the main menu and you'll be able to notice that when you do you have the kids mode now so you could just hit that and then it'll let you access the samsung kids option and basically it says welcome to samsung kids samsung kids is a safe environment on your tablet provides fun and educational content while giving you control and after you set up the Samsung Kids, we recommend that you open each app to check and allow the permissions, which is pretty cool. Now, another thing I like on here is the media controls. And what you wanna do is swipe down until you see media on here. And then what you wanna do is click media on this thing. And once you click media, you're gonna notice that you can change it to any headphone set that you have, which is really, really nice to use. You also do have this little button at the top right hand corner that looks like a disc and you wanna hit that, right? Because when you hit that, it's gonna let you enter the Galaxy Store and inside of the Galaxy Store, it's gonna give you more options to mess around with like smart things. And so like if you have, you know, something like a robot or an air conditioner, you can actually control it through that thing, which is cool. Then the other toggle is these three dots right here and you wanna hit that and hit settings. And then you also wanna add show app shortcut right here you could also show earbuds when available and you want to add that at all times and you also want to add this and this so you can see uh use the tablet when it's locked and control the media even when your tablet is locked so if you made it this far you're a real one but let me just show you two of my favorite features that i did save to the end for the people that did make it this far but if you did make it this far say i'm here now and then that way i'll know you're here but make basically you want to long hold the screen and you can actually delete windows right here. So you can, you're gonna see the trash can right there. You can delete these windows that you see, and then you can also add more windows, as many as you want, right? But what you wanna do is scroll to the left-hand side. And what you're gonna notice is that when you get to the left-hand side, you're gonna see something that says on or off for the Google feed. And that you're gonna see right here, when I swipe to the left, I get the Google feed right here so you know sometimes it, it's not really useful for some people so what you want to do is instead of hitting google discovery you want to hit samsung free right here and after you hit samsung free you're going to notice that you're going to be getting this thing which is free content for your tablet and basically you just go over there and you're going to have like uh, places where you can read um, pod you could listen to podcasts you could play games on this thing in the quick option it gives you a whole ton of games to play with it also gives you podcasts to listen to it gives you content to read right here as well and my favorite part is it does give you free tv shows to watch different channels 
So the the TV is actually going to come on. It's kind of like Pluto TV if you guys have ever used that before, but built right into the tablet. So you're getting all of these radio stations, music, um, movies, and it even has like a, a couple of shows that you could watch, like Nick Cannon and um, different movies that will come on throughout the day. And they have like tons of channels on here. So I definitely think that's something to activate instead of the google feed because it's really cool but hopefully you guys did find this video helpful if you did find it helpful let me know down in the comment section down below but make sure you hit the like button to show your support appreciation but i truly appreciate you for coming through but in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening depending where you are have a great night i'll get right back with you later crew peace